Okay, talking to you a bit about silicones, um, let me just get out what I normally use. I've got my little box here of stuff I usually use. I'm going to talk you through my favourite ones and why. So at the moment you can see I've got the Blanda Tour. It's a really soft silicone, almost like toffee, okay? Um, very nice for people with arthritic problems or toes that are very uh, retracted or compressed together. Blanda Nature, also nice. These have got slightly different textures when you touch them, but they're very, very nice silicones. Um, so these are the soft ones, these two, okay? My favorite ones, most people like those. You've also got Fresco, uh, the Fresco. Okay, and it's a light, lighter pink, medium density. And there's another one I got upstairs, which I'll bring out later on. And it's got purple lid. That's very hard. But because I'm going to be doing some more videos on silicone, I'll just show you some of the equipment I use. So we have a spatula. You're going to need one of these. Silicone oil. This all comes from the same company. You can buy it from CMP. It's pretty good stuff. And I'll be at the conference this year, so I can show you how to use it at their stand in Harrogate. We've got liquid silicone. We've got polymer, okay? So, most important as well is the catalyst. It's a liquid catalyst. It allows you to drop, so you're measuring. It's very important to measure what you're doing. And then if you've got a few little plastic spoons you can use to scoop it out if you don't want to get stuck on your nails, completely understand. I'm with you on that. They have also brought out a um, special glue to repair the silicones. But there is a way, if you don't have this, how you can combine the oil and the polymer and create a glue for yourself. So if you've got a really nice prop that's ripping, rather than creating a whole brand new one, just repair it. So talk to you about all those later on.